Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled Daf Yomi Yavamot Kuf Aleph Ahmed Aleph. Beginning a new parak, and the Shia is based on the very name of the parak, Mitzvah Chalitza B'Shlosha Dayanin. The Mitzvah of Chalitza is with three judges. The Gemara goes on to discuss who these three judges are, what level they have to be on. But I'd like, I'd like to focus on the first word, mitzvah chalitza. What do we mean by mitzvah? Is it mitzvah to perform chalitza? What exactly is the nature of it? Take a look at the Rambam uh, in Hilchot Ishut. He starts off by saying that he talks about Likuchen from the Torah, how to have marriage, and he says, Once the Torah was given, then you have to have a proper kinyan with Edim. Likuchen elu mitzvah sashay shal Torah. He uses the term that... <coughs> This is a mitzvah to say from the Torah. In Helchus Gerushin, the Rambam starts off, Yeshua Hashem mitzvah to chametz to say, Shigar Hashem Rosh Pesefer. It's a mitzvah to say. It is part of the Tayag mitzvot. That's what he lists that you have Gerushin and Lo Tase Lo Tase Kushato. And then once she remarries, you cannot take her back. So in terms of the minyan of mitzvot, there are two mitzvot to say and Lo Tase. In the Rambam, the text itself, Ein Ha'isha Mitkavesh El Bechtav Sheagila Bechtav Zeh Nekra Get. That a, a woman doesn't have gerushin except with a ktav. So it's just, it's, it's halacha. I've had to perform gerushin when it's needed. The Ram does use a language, it's a mitzvah to, soak it, to do gerushin. And by yibum chalitza, mitzvah natosh yibum at ishta, it's a mitzvah saving the Torah to do yibum. And then he writes, lo yarat la ratzeva, let's say he doesn't want to do yibum. Then hareza cholates, vachakti yemu tell me to say, mitzvah saving the Torah lachlot in lo ratzeva. It's a mitzvah saving the Torah to do chalitza if. He doesn't want to do yibum. So Rambam sounds like there's a mitzvah to say to do a chalitza. So by ishut and by, he, he says mitzvah to have ishut. By gerushin just tells you how to do gerushin, and then by chalitza tells you to mitzvah to say. It's actually machlokus in the achronim. How do we look at chalitza? Is it just a way to mat your her? to be with other people, because right now she, she's bound to the yavam, and, and chalitza is a way to mater, or no, there's a mitzvah to perform chalitza, and then mamela, she has the ability to marry anyone she wants. It's actually machlokes in the chacham tzvi and the nitziv. The nitziv in parshas, uh, in uh, kitetze, shelta kuf nun gimel, in the very beginning, he quotes the chacham tzvi, and his language is um, that he writes, where get is just a way to potter her. The main thing is it's a mitzvah. And then Mamela, she's free to be with anyone. He says, and this is not like the Chacham Tzvi who says that the main part of Chalitz is uh, uh, just to potter her. And then Mamela, she could be with people, but the main, the main goal is just to potter. It's not a mitzvah itself. And he argues. It turns out to be a very interesting machlokas achronim, what the nature of chalitza is actually a mitzvah, and then the result, of course, is that she's free to marry, or no, according to Chacham Zvi, it's just a way to free her up. According to Chacham Zvi, theoretically, she says, I'm never going to get married again, I have no plans to get married, and, uh, and the man says, I have no plans to do yibam. So she's sort of in this state where she can't marry anyone, she's not uh, going to marry the Avab. Uh, she has no plans to remarry, and it's not a tirch in any way for her to be in this state. So, fine, just leave it that way, according to Chacham Tzvi. Because the only reason you do it is just to free her up. If she doesn't want to be freed up, then that's it. Well, according to the, uh, the Nitziv, no, there's a mitzvah to do chalitza. If you're not going to marry her, then do chalitza. So it's a fascinating machlokas, achronen, shalom.